Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A pretty active night last night with several inches of snow coming down across West Michigan, but it wrapped up pretty quickly, a fairly quick moving winter storm. You can see on Storm Track Live, we are dry across West Michigan. Off in eastern Michigan, a few flurries do remain, but overall our cams across the area pretty quiet. Even driving into work this morning, it is somewhat clear. You can see the moon out there and some stars. That will not be the case of us we head throughout today. You can already start to see some clouds growing over in Wisconsin on the other side of the lake as this low pressure system continues to track off to our east. The good news is we'll be dry and fairly warm. Low temperatures or current temperatures this morning sitting well above normal. 30 degrees right now in Grand Rapids, 29 in Allegan, and it's a little bit warmer by the lake, 37 in South Haven. Highs today will continue to rise into those low 40s. So it will uh, continue to take, melting will continue to take place with temperatures well above that freezing mark. There is a chance for a few stray showers and maybe a little bit of a flurry overnight tonight, but no accumulation is expected. Otherwise, it sets us up for a pretty nice day on Sunday. At least partly sunny skies and highs nearing that 50 degree mark. But there are some changes here over the next couple of hours. Again, that low pressure system continues to track off to our east as high pressure works to keep us dry, but ultimately kind of fails tonight. Here's a look at those scattered showers developing again. Uh, some snow possible, especially furthest up to the north, but it's going to be flurries almost melting on impact, especially with the warm temperatures we have today. And then eventually that high pressure pressure settles in for Sunday. That keeps us dry and also will give us some of that sunshine. Into the week ahead, though, the active pattern just keeps continuing. Monday is the next day that we're keeping a close eye on, but this time around, likely going to be widespread showers, but we're keeping a close eye on it because we do know how this goes. Here's our latest model run. It is indicating that we could see a little bit of a wintry mix, almost eerily similar to what we dealt with on Monday, if you recall. We started off with a little bit of slick conditions, but for fully transitioning over to rain in the afternoon and it helped melt some of that ice that did accumulate. I do think northern Michigan will see snow, but temperatures rise fast into the afternoon and will be in those upper 40s once again. So it should all transition over to that rain before a few flurries remain overnight into Tuesday morning. And overall, Tuesday will be actually one of the nicer days of our week with some sunshine building. So it's a little bit of a busy start to our eight day forecast, but it levels out pretty quickly. 42 is your high today. No concerns until about four or five o'clock tonight when we could see some light showers as well as that wintry mix develop. Again, no accumulation expected. Into Sunday, a high of 47, 48 on Monday, and I'm holding on to that. It'll be mostly rain or at least transition over to mostly rain by the afternoon. A chance for a flurry on Tuesday morning before temperatures cool off slightly towards the middle and end of the week. We're back near freezing and kind of the overall pattern for March not looking good. Uh, not only here, but across the country, supposed to have well below normal temperatures oh. and I think you can kind of see that with that 32. Did that influence your outfit today? We're both so in the shirts cold. and the pants. <laughs> it's <laughs> like been no one of those dresses. weeks, right? We've had really so has. many winter storms. Yeah. I just, yeah, I even have my slippers on. You can't see. <laughs> I don't have mine on, but I wish I did. <laughs>